Hey, what's up, guys? It's XD Reacon here, and I am bringing you a tutorial which is the sound effector of the waves, um, the audio effect waves. And this tutorial is on 29 of June. This tutorial means I did it before I traveled, so I'm gonna uh, make it public when I'm in Spain, so I be active, you know. So let's start with the tutorial. I got my motion track here. Let's increase this. I got my motion track. Now what I'm gonna do is add a cube, and I'm gonna decrease the size of the cube. Um, I know I like to make it like this. 120, 120, one. Oh no, shit. 180 here. Yeah, this is good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to place it anywhere, but what I'm going to do now, when I've got a cube, I'm going to go MoGraph, Cloner Object. And now I'm going to make the cloner the parent of the cube by dragging the cube into the cloner. So we got this word cube here. Now what you're going to do is, we're going to place the cube by clicking on the cloner, and we're going to place it where we want it to be. Let's say I want it to be right there. Now what you're gonna do with the count, we're gonna set the mood to linear and we're gonna move the position Z, whatever you want, if you make it like this or that and we're gonna change the count, the count, I'm, I always make it 6, so I got 6 cubes there and yep, now what you're gonna do is we're gonna increase the size of it so it goes down by clicking on the cube Click on this thing and by dragging it down like this. Sorry. I'm gonna drag this. Now we see this looks shit. What we're gonna do to delete this, we're gonna add a floor and gonna put the background cinema 4D compositing, it's like the normal shadowing, you know. When this is done, we see the floor is disappeared, so we're gonna adjust this now. Okay. First, we're gonna take the floor and place it down. The text, the, uh, sorry, the spectrum. And now we're gonna take this um, cubes and we're gonna place them whenever you, where, where we want it to be. And PZ, you can mess around with position Z till the way you want it to be. So let's say I want this like this. Let's scoop this down a little bit. So now we're done here. Now let's me, let me retake this a little bit. Take this little front. You can just adjust it the way you want it to be. Now it's done. Now what we need to do is go to MoGraph, Effector, Sound Effector, and see a sound file. I'm gonna add the sound we want. So I'm gonna add Toolbox. Okay, now if you click on the timeline, we'll see we got some sounds going. It takes some time to load, maybe. So yeah, we got some sound. Now what you're gonna do to make the sound to the cube gonna click on the cloner object, go to effectors tab, and we're gonna drag the sound. So we got sound going, but this movement is bad. So what we're gonna do is go to sound and factor apply mode is gonna be step. But this is not good yet, as you see. It's very low. So what you're gonna do is increase the strength by 500, maybe, let's see. Let's see this now. Let's see this now. Yeah, it's much, much better now. Now what we can do is, gonna add some color maybe. Gonna make this, say, green color. Add some reflection, Fresnel. 20% of 15. We can add some glow. 15, 15. And we're gonna drag this to the cloner object. For 
render this we got this now we can add light shadow light a shadow so I'm gonna do this real fast so please do better than me guys yeah well, so yeah we got here we got some nice looking yeah we got some nice looking spectrum yeah I know shatter sucks but please do better than me guys you can see here if we add some text maybe let's leave it as it is my computer lags I know let's type in my name recon gonna rotate this we see that it's motion tracked and it's pretty good you know we can add this to the text also yeah so that was the days to so yeah guys it's pretty damn tracked yeah that was today's tutorial I hope you liked it I'm gonna make it public when I'm Spain so thanks guys peace out it was XDTM Rican here